Hello everyone and welcome to this another tutorial of EasyQ. In this short tutorial I'll show you how you can connect your Mac and Windows uh, desktop or laptop computers to your EasyQ and uh, uh, enjoy the content which is already stored on your EasyQ. So let's uh, get started. First thing you'll need is go ahead and launch your browser and search for uh, Kodi Download. So once this shows up, go to that page and download for your operating system. Uh, I'm doing this demo on uh, uh, Mac, so I'll go ahead and download the Mac installer. So the moment I click on installer, it will start. It should start downloading. Now I just downloaded it sometimes before, so I'll cancel the current one and I'll just go ahead and launch the installer. So on uh, Mac, you just copy it to the applications folder and uh, on your windows it will get installed onto your program files so you just go ahead and go to the application folder in your mac you can drag and drop to your taskbar so that you have a shortcut to launch this so what's in there click on it to launch uh, the Kodi application and if it asks you for security just click it open and let it open so it will launch into the default user interface of uh, Kodi Let's go ahead and uh, add our uh, movies and TV shows and music to this. So go to videos tab and select files. Uh, click on OK to get rid of this tutorial. Then select add videos at the bottom. And here we're going to browse to our EasyCube uh, server. So go ahead and at the bottom choose add network location. And once it's in there you keep the default Windows Samba server because Samba server on EasyCube is what we're going to access and uh, then type in the uh, IP address of your EasyCube. You can find the IP address of your EasyCube and password for this on your EasySync app. Check out the other tutorial. So I'll go ahead and type the uh, IP address of my EasyCube here in the server name field. And you leave the server folder as it is in the port as it is. Your username here is going to be the root. So just go ahead and type in root and press OK. Now get the password from your EasySync app and type the password here. Press done and click on OK. So now we added the Samba server of EasyCube here in our folder. So choose this server and go into the media folders and get into the movies because we are going to add the movies here first. On the right side choose OK and go down and press OK. Now here in this folder we have to tell it what kind of content is this. So this is our movie content. So we'll use the movie DV so it can scan all the fan art and everything from internet. It'll ask you do you want to add this? Say yes. And the moment you do that, you see on, you'll see on the top it will start scanning your folder and it will just add all of them. Now let's go ahead and also add the TV shows. Now because we added the server already, we don't have to do that step again. So go ahead and choose media from here choose TV shows and again select OK. So everything is just the same now. The only difference is here we have to tell it that this is the TV database that we want to use because this is the TV uh, series content. Press OK and then let it again scan the content from your EasyCube drive to the easy. Okay, so now let's add the music. Uh, it's the same process. Uh, go to the music files and add music. Click on browse. Choose the server on uh, EasyCube. And in the media folder, choose your music folder instead this time. And from the right side, select OK. And then at the bottom, OK. And then it will start scanning all the music also to your uh, desktop Kodi. So now we let it uh, scan all that content and we'll come back in a bit. It may take a while depending upon how much content you have on your EasyQ. So once all the content from your EasyQ has been scanned into desktop Kodi that we just installed, you can look how it's, it's showing all the fan art and everything. You can just go ahead and look at for recently added movies for example. So if anything that interests you, you can just uh, press enter to play that particular movie. For example, the program and it should start playing the movie 
which is coming from your easy key now same thing happens to your music you can go up there and look at for the uh, music that is uh, fetched from the easy cube and choose whichever albums you want to play and start playing so this is the default user interface of uh, Kodi now if you want to change uh, to something else you can go ahead uh, into uh, you can do that just uh, uh, go to the right to the systems and in the systems we will find other uh, 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 user interface that's available so go to systems and then settings inside the settings uh, you will see appearance the top one choose the appearance go to the right choose skin and then get more so here you will see many many skins that are available we'll just uh, go ahead and try the first one it's called Aeon Knox. so press enter and we'll start installing that uh, user interface onto your desktop so we will be actually releasing our own uh, user interface, uh, EasyCube interface, which is similar to what you see on your TV. will also be showing on your desktop uh, when you install uh, our user interface. So until then, you can choose any of those uh, which are available right uh, uh, through the Kodi Skin Engine. So let's wait for it to install all the dependencies. Dependencies, sorry, and <coughs> and everything else that it needs to install. So once the uh, new user interface is installed, it will ask, do you want to keep changes? Say yes. And then you see this, this is the new user interface called AnNox. And you can go into the movies and look what you have on your user cube and you can enjoy them uh, from your Mac, Windows, desktop or laptop computer. So just look at the movie that you're interested in, press enter means to start playing. Hope you find this uh, tutorial useful. If you have any comments, you can leave it below at the comment section. I'll get back to you. Thank you very much.